So a while ago I told you about how I was going to download Adobe Premiere Elements and check that out and I wanted to show you guys kind of what it's all about and what my first impressions are of it because it's pretty cool and I think you'll like it if you've been using GoPro Studio or iMovie or Windows Movie Maker and you're ready to take a step up and make home movies that are, you know, a little more fun to watch and a little more fun to edit, then check out Adobe Premiere Elements with me. Okay, so I am going to open up my Adobe Premiere Elements 13, which I just recently downloaded and I paid about $70 for it. It says that the retail price is about $100, but it seems to be one of those things that's like always on sale. So don't pay full price. Um, so I have not used it. I actually haven't even opened it up other than to this exact screen before. So I have never, never used it. And I'm just going to kind of explore it and see how easy or how difficult it is to use. And I did go to YouTube and I watched two videos on like intro to Premiere Elements 13. I know it sounds silly that I went to go Google how to use the software that I'm going to show you how to use. But I just kind of wanted to see kind of what it was like um, to begin with. So um, I'm going to click here on video editor and hopefully... That will open something up. So I'm going to go. I've never used this before, so I've got a new project, I guess. So that's going to be thinking for me. So it is taking a few minutes to start up here. I don't know if it's because it's the first time or if it's going to be like this every time. But okay, here we go. Blah, blah, blah. Welcome to Premiere Elements. I'm just going to click OK. And here we go. You have a new update. Oh, look at that. Uh, let's, I'm going to do install on exit so I don't have to mess with that right now. Okay, so I know that we don't need to do anything with eLive at this moment, but I do know that we have three different kind of ways to edit our videos with Adobe Premiere Elements. There's the quick way, which is this. There's a guided, and then there's expert. And expert looks a lot like what you would expect from a typical um, video editor like Adobe Premiere Pro, which is what I use to edit my blog videos on. Um, so that looks pretty familiar to me, but I'm going to check out the quick thing um, and see if I can figure that out. So first thing we need to do is add media. And I have some clips on my desktop. So... We're going to go to Files and Folders and Desktop and um, I have these I have these top three right here that I already kind of looked through to see what I wanted to do. This is from a trip that we took to Ontario, Canada to Great Wolf Lodge of my kids at the water park. So I just imported those three clips and it automatically dropped them right here into the timeline, which was nice. Um, yeah, that works. So all right, so there's, there's the first one there. Okay, there's the first one there. So you can either press the play button down here to make it play or you can press the space bar um, that's normally what I do so there's some footage in these that um, we would want to clip out um, like that guy there hairy chest guy um, so I can just move my end point right over here to where I wanted to start which is practically right at the beginning of the video anyway Actually, right there is where she comes down. I'm going to use my my arrow button, my back arrow button on my keyboard to kind of get it to like just where her head is coming down the slide. And then I'm going to come over here and move my endpoint just to right where I am. So let's see. Awesome. All right, so that's pretty good. I, I don't know why I just have this like weird thing about putting strangers in bathing suits um, in my videos. <laughs> um, I wouldn't appreciate that if I was them. So I try to, I don't want to um, 
like have all those people to be the stars of my videos. Okay, so we actually, we have a lot that we want to edit out of there. We have a lot of strangers in bathing suits, um, which is never good. So why wouldn't it let me just, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. So here's, here's my point where I'm at. Um, okay, here we go. I just didn't have that clip selected. Okay. And then... Okay, so there's a good spot to end right right there where there's another stranger in a bathing suit. All right, so so far so good. I don't see any controls for like the volume or anything like that. So this was shot on my GoPro. So um, you know, with a GoPro, there's like it's really easy to touch the microphone and have all these like crazy sounds. So we definitely have some audio that we would want to edit. Um, I see a place down here to drag audio down there if I wanted to add music. Um, but I don't see where I would be like editing the actual audio um, in these clips. So maybe you can't do that on the quick edit, which is fine because I know that we can do it. Um, oh, there's stuff down here. Effects. Nope. Audio. I don't think that's what I'm looking for because I don't want to, I'm not looking to add, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, okay, maybe tools, mm, various adjustments to your clips, smart fix, shake, stabilizer, um, da, 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 volume, look at that. So I can turn the volume down on each clip. Um, which is going to be helpful for all the weird um, audio things that the microphone picks up, like when you're handling the f the uh, the GoPro. But it's but then anything that my kids are saying is also going to be turned down, so that's going to be weird. Um, and then I'm I don't need to do anything with the balance, but um, I'm not sure if you're even going to be able to hear this, but. Hello. Can it not do that? Can I uh, make this go away and then play? Possibly. Okay. It looks like all you can do is turn it down. Um, you know, turn it down on the whole clip, which is fine for quick editing. But um, if we were going to add some music and stuff to this, we w we'd want to be able to turn the volume down and up again, so that we can. Uh, kind of mask all of the other noises, all of the noises like from touching the GoPro, but still bring up the volume like when they're talking. So, um, so I guess that's a little quick introduction to the quick edit part of Adobe Premiere Elements. Um, guided. This looks kind of like it kind of walks you through some tutorial kind of stuff. Um, okay, so it gives you, okay, so it kind of walks you through, oh, it uses your own footage, uses your own footage to walk you through how to do things. Okay, but it, but I already know how to do the things it's telling me. So that's really interesting. That's cool. Yeah, I'm going to get out of there. I'm going to come over to expert and my clips are already in there. Okay, so my clips are already in the expert. So that's really that's really cool, actually. Um, you can start out with your quick edit, and if you find that you need something a little more advanced, just click expert, and all your stuff will already be right there on the timeline. All right, so it has all of my clips already edited um, and trimmed, just like I did uh, in the quick quick version of the editing here. So, so you can see from the this yellow line right here and right here, this, these are the volume uh, lines. So you can see visually, without even listening, you can see that this one has a lower volume than the one over here. And that's the one that I edited way back when I was um, on the, the quick editing portion of this. So that's cool. Um, let me just see what they have for audio. 
Um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear this or not, but I'm going to right down here in this um, by the effects and all that stuff. You can choose some music and just for fun, I'm going to do that. I'm going to select some Adobe provided music. I'm going to drop it down here. Can I do that? Hello? Okay. Oh, it takes a second apparently. Oh, it's, it's downloading. Okay then. So that, um, I guess these audio files aren't already loaded into the program. So it's downloading it from, you know, the internet. Okay. So our music score is down there and, um, I'm not going to adjust any of those things, but I have it, I dropped it right here. So it's starting right here. I guess we would maybe want it to start at the very beginning. So I guess I can just drag it. Now this is on the soundtrack part of the timeline. Okay, so that music is actually way louder than the voices on my video. So how do I edit it? Okay. Um, how about adjust? Adjust the volume. There we go. I should have remembered that from the last thing. I'm going to go to like negative 30 decibels. So like right around in here though is where I might want to pump up the volume a little bit. And I don't know how to do that. So I'm going to have to play with that some more. Like I said, so this was just a, a first look at using Adobe Premiere Elements to edit my um, home movies and I'm going to be doing probably some tip and tricks videos for you guys using this software as well as some tutorials and some things like that. So it looks very promising. It's very, very similar to Adobe Premiere Pro, which I use to edit all my blog videos, um, which is a professional video editing software. It looks very similar to that, but it's it's not as complicated and it's definitely nowhere near as overwhelming as um as adobe premiere pro so you still have a really great timeline here where you can have layers of of things um so i didn't get into titles and transitions or anything like that today i was just kind of exploring to see what can be done and what the limitations are because some of the free or very inexpensive video editing programs out there like GoPro Studio and iMovie and Windows Movie Maker have so many limitations. They're great for learning, they're great for getting started, but there's just so many limitations. And so I'm here to, of course, help you make awesome home movies. So in order to do that, we're gonna have to use a piece of software that can do all the awesome stuff that I wanna teach you. So there you have a little bit of an intro and my first impressions of Adobe Premiere Elements. Um, if you want to get some more tips, tricks, and tutorials in the future on that program for editing your digital videos, then definitely head on over to vidpromom.com. Give me your email address so that you can be part of the vidpromom family and you can get my emails, which will have all of my latest posts and videos and possibly some giveaways in the future. So head on over there and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.